Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I have a small AliExpress haul for you. Uh, but first of all, some updating. And that is that this is going to be my last AliExpress haul for a little while or really I don't know for how long because um, Canada Post went on strike and the strike lasted for six weeks. During that time, um, Asian countries were, to and some other countries as far as I know, were told not to send surface mail to Canada during this time. So AliExpress uh, raised all their shipping costs in Canada to outrageous <laughs> amounts. So there's no more free shipping to Canada. And um, some, some sellers have, you know, put $5 shipping or whatever, but the majority of them have put prices like $40 on shipping a piece of uh, one washi tape. It's absolutely ridiculous. My uh, cart was full of things to buy and uh, it came to like a thousand dollars with the shipping being about 75% of that or, or more. So um, to make a long story short, uh, I've contacted a few of the sellers and they all tell me the same story that uh, they have not been given the word from their exporters that uh, shipping is on for Canada yet. And uh, here in Canada, I've heard that uh, the backlog of uh, getting the uh, the mail from the ships that were all stuck at uh, the ports during the strike could take until March to get for them to get caught up with all that mail. So I don't know whether that's true or not, but I've heard it. And uh, as I said, AliExpress isn't shipping to Canada for free or even reasonable in, anymore. So uh, I I have. Uh, a couple of things I ordered before the strike that I'm waiting for and it did order one thing during the strike uh, a, a large order and they only charged me five dollars so uh, I'm waiting for that but other than that uh, yeah the, this is my last one until things get back in working order with uh, shipping to Canada from China so, in the meantime, I do have nine items here, which we will open and see what I've got. Now, of course, as usual, I've opened up the packages and just took a peek to make sure they were from AliExpress, and, uh, but never really took a good look at it. Now this, I have been looking high and low to find a days of the week stamp that was a decent size for working in my uh, creative daily planner. So I ordered this and I actually accidentally, I think this is it. <laughs> yes, I accidentally ordered two of them. So I think I'll put one of those into my, well, this one, this one's not in a baggie unless I took it out of it. doesn't matter. So yeah, I'll keep this one. This one's still in the baggie and I'm going to put it in my uh, Happy Mail my Happy Mail um, oh, I can't talk today giveaway box. Okay, so I guess that makes eight <laughs> really. Okay, so we got this stamp. Uh, let's open this one. This one I didn't open. It says it's a pen ink refill. Not too sure what that is. Where are my scissors? 
right, here's a pair. Okay. Oh, oh yes. I remember ordering this. This is a long time ago, so <laughs> some of these things I do not remember, but I ordered them until I see them. So here, I'm going to get this out. This is a package of colored inks for my fountain pens. So I am yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that out. It's really cute packaging too. Made in Singapore. Looks like it says Singapore there, but I don't know. It might be, it might be Chinese. It's hard to read. Okay, so yeah, there's like, they don't tell you the colors, but I mean, you can, we can tell here purple, red, two shades of blue, pink, green, yellow, brown, pink. Black, another shade of green, and orange. Let's see what those are like. Okay. And next, let's open this one. It's a little bit big. Might be a few things in here. I don't know. Oh, yes. I ordered another package of water paint brushes. Now, what I was doing is putting all my inks into these. And I definitely have enough now, so no more of these for me. <laughs> so these are, uh, there's three different sizes in each pack. Sorry for the, the light, it's really glaring in here. Uh, there's three different sizes and they're just, they're just plain ones that, you know, have an, a hole opening and the water goes in. Very simple. Okay, then the next one is, oh, yes, 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 yes. I have been waiting for this. This is a, uh, a stamp to use in your, to use in your planner. Um, basically, if you work in a, a TN or a um, Midori or, you know, that kind of thing. And it's really cool. It's by by a company called Squirrels and Frogs, which is kind of cute. And, oh, that's a strange color of rubber. Usually they're uh, white nylon type stuff. Hmm, let's give that a try. I got some, I got some paper around here somewhere. I guess we can do it on the back of that. And I got a big ink here. So what this does is it has has spaces for you to mark off the weather, the temperature, the day of the week, the month. I don't know how well this is going to stamp on bubble wrap, but oh my goodness, that. Can, I don't know if you can see with the glare in here. That is sharp. So yeah, it's got uh, the weather, sun, wind, clouds, fog, rain, rainbow, sleet, hail, frost, snow, storm, and lightning. So you color in that section. Then you've got the season, summer, autumn, winter, or spring. And then you have the days of the week. So you color that in and then here it's got the temperature and it's got Fahrenheit and Celsius so you color that in um, one of these squares either there or there is for you to put the the day of the date like the you know the 21st and I'm not sure what the other one's for and then here is to put the year it starts with a two so you put 20 whatever and um yeah that's that's amazing i love that okay so we've got a few things left this is what are these these are 
I don't even know what these are. It says jump rings. They're not jump rings, and I wouldn't have ordered jump rings. Are these Chicago screws? Oh, yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, these these are those little um those little post things that you put in um a, you put on a junk journal cover so that you can put the you can put the um elastic closure or string or whatever on them. I believe they are called Chicago screws. Um Tim Holtz gets a has a little package of like six of them or something and he calls them hitch fa fasteners but the official name for them is Chicago screws and you can find them at uh, hardware stores and AliExpress for like a buck something okay so that's that and we have two left um this one's small And these are some more of those hitch fasteners. These ones are larger and they are gold. The other ones were silver and small. Okay, and finally, the last thing that we have is something that I didn't open. Feels like it might be Lomo cards. I don't remember ordering any. Oh, it's washi. Oh my goodness. It's quite a bit of washi. Oh, oh yes, I remember this. This was some really nice washi. Okay, so we have to get the washi book. Which hopefully is not hiding. Here it is. Okay, so here's my washi book and let's sample these. These are beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in to the washi book. There we go. And let's have a look at these. Okay, so the first one is, and these are by infeel.me I've had this brand before okay so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them all and then I'll come back to you okay I'm back so three of these are from well let's do the one I ha had in my hand three of these are from infeel and they are a good brand Nice and, well, and I get this started. <laughs> Here I am saying what a good band. Oh, okay. It had, a, oh, this isn't washy. Or is it? Ah, oh, this is, this is a uh, backed by getting view. This is backed by plastic. So these three right here have foiling on them and this one is it's kind of yeah it's pink foiled. So I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see the foiling on it but that's beautiful. I love that. Okay, then the next one, I wonder if these are all the same. Yeah, they they came from the same set. So this is the next one here. It's uh it's got uh pink flowers with uh kind of like an outline of was it flowers or birds? Butterflies? No. The outline of uh gold foil flowers in the background. So there's that one. The colors just aren't being done justice in here. It's an overcast day and it's just really strange lighting. And then this one is gorgeous. This is a uh, this is a typical typical Japanese pattern. Sorry. 
I can get it off here. There we go. So these ones that have the backing on them, they're uh, stickier than uh, normal washi. So yeah, this is the uh, kind of like waves pattern. And then it's got gold foiling on it. Not a big fan of uh, foiling, but uh, those are gorgeous. Now, these next two are by Miss Rose. And these are just absolutely stunning. Let's see if these are the same kind. Feels like it. Oh, no. These are these are normal washi. Okay, I'm going to put these both on the... Oh, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> it tricked me. This is the peel-off kind, too. Okay tear that bit off and this one is cranes on a deep dark blue background with some gold foiling in it just look at that isn't that awesome and to go along with that is what I believe is the exact same pattern with a bright red background. I'll find the end on this one. It's hiding. I can't find the end. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's funny how well, I guess they all came, they probably all came from the same set. Even though they're, they can't be the same set because they're from different makers. Oh, different brands, I mean. Oh, beautiful. Where are we? I'm zoomed in a bit too much here, but I think that's, you're going to get the best view that way. Isn't that nice? Those are, those are just absolutely gorgeous, and they're not the same design. They are very slightly different from each other. This is like the brightest uh, washi I have, these two here. Wow. Okay, so that's it. We got some washi and an absolutely fantastic stamp. That just, that just stamped like clear as day. Uh, some Chicago screws, some brushes, uh, Days of the Week stamp, and some ink cartridges. So, some interesting things. And uh, so that's it for my AliExpress hauls for a while. But uh, I will eventually be back with them. And in the meantime, I've got uh, plenty of other videos to uh, film in the next few days and lots of stuff coming up so if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up uh, click on uh, subscribe and the bell so you get notifications and you know what to do thank you very much for joining me and until next time bye